Hi, this is Tony from BorderWork.com and today I'll be showing um, you guys how to install Windows 7 Ultimate on a netbook. So the very uh, you need a couple of things for this. The first thing you need is your own copy of Windows 7 Ultimate, original copy. I, I suggest, you know, downloading of torrents, you know, uh, let's just keep things legal. So this is an original copy of Windows 7 Ultimate, you can see that. Um, also, since netbooks don't have DVD drives, you need your own external DVD drive. You can pick that up off uh, eBay. Uh, they're very cheap ones for about forty dollars, or you can, you know, get something better from say uh, Newegg or um, Amazon. But this is an older one I have. I'm using for the purposes of review. I can see it's quite chunky and big, but it does the job. And but you can get smaller, slimmer versions. And today I'll be doing the install on a Samsung uh, NP120 netbook. This is the netbook in question. Um, <clears throat> you can see it's very solid finish. It has uh, one, two, three USB ports, a VGA out. It has dual um, audio. Uh, this is running Windows XP on it. It's actually a, f uh, a fairly new uh, netbook, but uh, just didn't come with Windows 7 install. Uh, but it's running Windows XP. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to power up the system. Do that by hitting the button on the side. Now, I suggest you have your netbook plugged constantly uh, to a power source just to avoid it's running Windows XP. So I'm just going to go into the client just to show you uh, the netbook is on. Meanwhile, I am going to take my copy of Windows 7 here, and I'm going to power on the CD drive, and I'm going to put that in. So that should register. Put that in a second. It's uh, a little bit loud, but it does the job. Zoom in there. So, new hardware detected, mass storage. Now, the thing about this is that you cannot do a fresh install of Windows from Windows itself. Um, for some reason, it doesn't allow you to do that. So go out, turn off the system, do system restart. Restart the system. You can see uh, XP is doing a, a full restart there. So I'm going to do a restart of, of the system and I'm going to hit F8 for boot menu. And you can see it says press any key. Now Windows file is loading. So we have that loading. And um, this is now the installation process will begin from here. <clears throat> now, since this will be a fresh install of Windows 7, uh, it should run fairly quickly. So now the Windows screen has come up. Uh, do install in English USA. So I'm going to do that. Hit next. Now I'm going to do install now. So we're going to first thing that comes up is the Microsoft Windows uh, license terms agreement. You can scroll down, read through that, but it's basically the same as every other uh, Windows agreement license. So you hit accept. Hit next now. You didn't. You cannot do an upgrade of XP. So you have to do a custom advanced. Uh, install you hit that now what happens is that gives you your different hard drives system hard drive now with this hard drive through this uh, uh, laptop here has been partitioned to two different hard drives there's a system um, OME reserved there's a partition to system as a primary so I am going to do the install on the system I don't feel like uh, which is the uh, uh, one with the uh, less space so I'm going to click on that and I'm actually going to hit drive options here in the corner this allows me to format the drive so I'm going to hit format and this partition will be formatted 
and you go ahead and hit OK. So now it's been uh, formatted and it's ready to go. And I could merge the systems if I want to, and I would just format the other drive just for format sake. So you have the two drives formatted so together. Go there, click on that, and hit next. Now, this is the Windows installation screen, the, like your typical Windows installation screen. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. You're going to have uh, a copy files expand, install features, as well as updates. It's also going to uh, boot up a couple of times, but this is very standard with uh, a Windows installation process. So this should go on for, um, for a good period amount of time, but it shouldn't be too long. Now, once you get to complete the installation, it will restart the system. Sorry, which it's doing that now. Now we're still in the installation phase. Uh, it's completing the installations. The updates were installed. Um, files were being copied, expanded. The whole works with the Windows installation process means Windows 7 Ultimate has been successfully installed on the system. Checking video setup, I'm just making sure that everything uh, you can works. now type in a uh, name of the computer. And uh, so we hit next, put our name in there. Uh, passwords, uh, if you want a password on this system, you can also do that later in the uh, user controls. Our product key, I will do that later. I need to do that on camera, so I'll just turn the activation so I don't have to do that immediately. And then um, this actually uh, the screen pops up to tell you your security settings. Always best to use recommended settings for this. Now, the time, uh, we are uh, the East Coast, so Eastern Standard Time. It's the second, it is actually 12. 39 p.m. Change that over. Set our automatic daylight savings time. Uh, looking for wireless security network. It's found a couple. And go to that. Big network, home, public. So I say home network. You don't have to. You can select whichever one you best fits your system. So checking out the network. <laughs> making a connection and applied all the various settings to it and we can either transfer stuff on the network or I'll just hit skip and Windows is finalizing your Windows 7 Ultimate setup so this is Windows 7 Ultimate um, on a network right now once the system starts up Windows will begin to look for all the various necessary drivers that you need for your system which is a very good thing it, it basically cuts down you searching for drivers and uh, trying to find out what exact drivers your system needs so now it's preparing the desktop so we have Windows 7 ultimate running on the system you can also see it is already running on Aero Glass View which uh, indicates that Windows 7 can actually do that. Um, <clears throat> it's charging. You can see basically the icons on the left hand corner uh, right there, basically showing charging, wireless connection, and speakers. There's already speaker volume. Um, <clears throat> and let's just go to the computer. And we hit properties. And this gives you system information. This is not ready yet because I just installed the system, but it's a 32 bit operating system. Um, Windows 7 Ultimate, you can see that on top. And uh, yeah, 1 gig of memory, and it's running very well. So that is Windows. Um, Windows 7 on a netbook. Uh, at this point in time, the